All right, guys. Hi, my name is Persis. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very fresh faced. I'm filming this at night after I've already done my skincare routine. So please admit the amount of authentic and raw kind of content you guys are getting here. I felt very called to make you guys an EFT tapping video as I'd promised you guys for a very long time. I speak very extensively over on my TikTok page about how much EFT tapping has kind of really changed the game for me, um, especially financially. I used it a lot for my finances and I have manifested a $60,000 month. So kind of crazy, kind of crazy and a $20,000 week. So the benefits from it, I definitely see. Um, and I do think that you guys could use it as a way to help better your situation. I'm going to lead you through an EFT tapping exercise here. And all you're going to need to do is just follow along and come back to this video frequently and often. And I would say that once you do this EFT tapping pretty consistently, at least once a day or every other day, you should immediately start to feel lighter and better and things should start opening up in your reality. Now, I will couple this by saying that if you just do EFT tapping, but you still engage in the 3D, you still humor negative thoughts and you still have and play out bad scenarios and bad assumptions in your head on loop, it's not a miracle worker that's able to override those types of negative behavior patterns. We do have to have mental strength and be temporarily uncomfortable for long-term benefits because unless we're willing to lie down on our circumstances or lie down in our circumstances and marinate in it, the only way to get out of it is to be in a scenario where your doubts, your worries, your fear, your constantly engaging in a dopamine rush in the 3D is weaker than your desire um, to actually just change or stronger than your desire to change or I don't know which way it's supposed to go right now. I'm too sleepy for that and I just wanted to get this video out to you guys. So I'm just going to start the video and go through it just to give you a preliminary understanding. I did Google EFT tapping. Um, EFT tapping is called emotional freedom technique. And by Wikipedia's definition, it says emotional freedom techniques is a form of counseling intervention that stimulates acupressure points by pressuring, tapping, or rubbing these points while focusing on situations that represent personal fear or trauma. So if somebody is willing to, in the comments, just type down that we are going to be starting at XYZ time period for individuals who like to, would like to come back to it, I'm going to lead you guys through a tapping session. All right. So you're just going to repeat after me, do what I do, say what I say. Okay. And if you're in a public place and you just want to say it mentally, totally cool. All right. Starting on the karate chop. And I'm going to make this EFT tapping focused on worthiness, receiving, and deservingness. So I'm going to try to channel those types of statements in this. Starting on the karate chop, even though I am not worthy, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm just not good enough, I choose to love and accept myself. I am not worthy. I am not chosen. I am not deserving of the desires that I want in my life. Moving to the points. This is hard for me. Manifestation is hard for me. Maybe I'm just one of those individuals that it's not meant to be. I just don't deserve it. I see other people getting results but not me. That is not meant for me. Results can't happen for me. They never have before. And if they have, it's only with items and desires that I don't really want. Never the big ticket items. Never what I'm actually after. Never what could actually bring me true emotional fulfillment. That's just my lot in life, I guess. That's just my destiny. 
I'm not designed to be successful in what it is that I really want. Maybe I'm just not good enough. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Maybe I'm just not worthy. Maybe it's a little bit of all of them. This is so crippling. I must be the person that breaks manifestation. I'm probably just the person that breaks physics. My circumstances are just too big. I can't break through this. This is not going to happen for me. I'm just not worthy. And I'm not actually capable of seeing things any other way. Hasn't happened before. Why is this time any different? It's really not. I am a total failure. I can't figure out manifestation. I watch hundreds of videos. I follow hundreds of content creators. They just don't make sense. They're not speaking my language, and I don't understand them. I guess I'll just have to give up. No point in me wanting better. I mean, what's the point if I can't actually have it? And even though I feel this way, I'm willing and open to see things differently. I'm willing to see that actually my situation might not be so big. It might not be that bad. I'm sure there are individuals that are having a difficult situation more so than mine. And if they can get it, I can actually use that as motivation for me to get it. Because life doesn't have to be so hard. Things don't have to be so difficult. I just need to sit down and focus. I just need to center myself. And if I do that, I know I'm unstoppable. I know there won't be anybody that can hinder my manifestation at that point. But it feels so uncomfortable to sit down and be uncomfortable. It's hard for me to affirm these things. It's really, really difficult for me. My brain wants to run away. But I'm choosing to see things differently. I'm choosing to see that, you know what? I need to do this. I need a breakthrough. I need good things to happen. And that also comes with personal accountability. That also comes with me just making responsible decisions for my happiness. Because if I don't put me first, who else is going to? No one else. And I am willing to look at this differently. I am not a failure. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter how I was treated in the past. That's not a reflection of me. I know that I just might have internalized some negative things. And that got pushed out to me. And that really sucks. I really hated feeling those awful feelings. That didn't feel good at all. And I internalized it so deeply. I internalized it and it feels so big in my body. And I just don't know how to let it go. But I know the law of assumption. I know that when I choose to look at things differently, things start showing up differently. That's just a natural consequence of that. And I am willing to see things differently now. I'm willing to be in a scenario where I put myself first, where I put my manifestation routine first, and where I make big strides in self-improvement because I need to come first. After all, if I'm not happy, what's the point of all of this? If I'm not happy within myself, Nobody else can really make me happy. That's not how that works. And I know that that's not how that works. I deserve to walk around in my life knowing that I'm amazing. Knowing that I'm incredible. Knowing that I am a total catch. 
because I actually have a lot to offer. It would actually be a privilege to be loved by me. But I can't believe that. That's an arrogant thing to say. That's such a rude thing to say. I don't deserve to say something like that. I'm not pretty enough or I'm not handsome enough to say something like that. That just doesn't sound normal. But actually, if I break that down, I have a lot of amazing attributes. I have a lot of amazing qualities. I'm kind, loyal, and honest. I'm caring, loving, and forgiving. I'm empathetic, kind, and authentic. I am loyal to a T. I am honest to a T. And I would be all in for the person, place, or thing that I want to be all in with. So it's actually very possible to receive that in return. Maybe this isn't so hard after all. Maybe I just need to change the way I'm looking at things. And maybe I just need to sit down and make myself a little bit more uncomfortable a little more often. Because what I'm trying to do is not too big. It's not too outside of my reach. And I know how this works. I know that once I form the assumption, the assumption has to happen. That's just the way law of assumption works. It actually can't miss me. It actually can't be removed from me. My assumption is actually waiting for me to assume it. Because that's how the law works. It doesn't matter what I have or haven't seen in the past. My assumption's only buffering because I haven't assumed it. Wow, that kind of gives me a lot of power. Wow, that kind of gives me a lot to go on. I just need to assume this better. I just need to assume this stronger. I just need to assume this as a matter of fact. And I can choose to think of this differently. I can choose to let myself off the hook. I can choose that this is easy. And it doesn't matter if it wasn't easy in the past. I didn't know what I know now in the past. I'm a different person. And I can apply these authentic teachings an entirely different way. And I can see drastic results. The law is not above me. The law is not above my person, place, or thing. The law is not above my circumstances. It's not above the pain I faced in the past. It's not above the blessings I will deal with in the future. The law is the law. And I deserve it. And I'm totally worth it. I deserve to have nice things. And I'm allowing that to come to me now. Because I am worth it. Life doesn't always have to be a struggle. And I don't need to constantly suffer to get what I want. I can choose to have this right now. And it can come flooding in. Because I deserve it. In body, mind, and spirit. Drop your arm. Let it hang heavy. Breathe into your body. And exhale and let it go. This is a very good impromptu session that you guys can come back to frequently and often, however much you may need. You'd be surprised to see the types of shifts that you can see in your 3D reality just by implementing this. I would highly encourage you though, as I always do to my clients and my group coaching clients, that please do try to stay out of the 3D because the movement that you desire will seek you out to the ends of the earth 
once the assumptions are in order. But if you try to seek movement before you are fully ready and before the assumptions have fully formed, you may be displeased at the outcome. So I say this very lovingly and with a lot of empathy in my heart, that please try to put your head down and just run your race. Because the sooner you can form assumptions, the sooner your person, place, or thing can come in the sooner the blessing comes into your life. Your person is waiting for you to assume better. Your money is waiting for you to assume that abundance is something that comes to you. Please, please come back to this video frequently and often. Share it with your friends, whoever may need it. And send it out to an individual who it can have a positive impact on. Because that's all that I desire for my teachings. Is to reach more and more and more people. To help people, empower people. And give them the confidence back that they lost a while ago. That's my main mission and my main goal and my main objective in the work that I do. I want people to feel happy. I want people to feel loved. I want people to feel empowered. And I want people to have the happiness, the abundance, and the health that I have created for myself and my family members again and again and again. And if I can do it and go from being broke 60 days ago, getting my card decline at Publix while buying groceries, and needing to shamelessly ask my father to cash out me money just to live this is available for you as well. I am no different than you. I am you. Hence why my page is such a unpolished version compared to other people. You guys don't come here for the pretty editing techniques. You come here for the results. And I just want to say from my heart to you that I appreciate each and every single one of you who have been sharing my videos, who have been supporting me, who have been validating the type of work that I do and the uniqueness and authentic nature that I always try to lead with as a woman. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.